What's up guys, it's Hypno here, welcome to my new video, I really hope you enjoy and today we are basically playing my main deck but we have wall breakers over rocket so we have no spell in this deck. I've been playing this deck quite a lot recently, this is not just a uh, like troll or fun deck, this actually works out like um, yeah it's actually a really good deck on top ladder so or at least for me I don't know I've never seen anyone play anything like this but it works for me so okay we force out the log that was pretty expensive i can just pressure him here by the way we are against hunter here in the first game probably the best ice bow player in the game at the moment he also has a youtube channel okay that nado was overcommit i can go evil skellies and pressure opposite lane so he can't like ice whiz onto my evil skellies okay okay look at the evil skellies nah 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 they on tower no, nah, no way. I think he lost. <laughs> he lost, yes, he lost. There's no way he can come back now. Man, that's crazy. He even has a hard counter because we don't have a rocket and he has perfect defense with, with his ice bow defense. So, yeah, he has like Tesla, Nado, Log, Ice Whiz. So he has basically everything on defense. But we still managed to pressure him so well that, <laughs> yeah, we got the three crown. <laughs> GG's. Next game here against Extreme. This guy is a golem player. <laughs> okay. Yeah, nice. Golem first play, bro. Well played. Okay, just gonna force out something on the opposite lane here. Okay, good. good. He goes for Barb though. I'm gonna wall breakers like this. If he doesn't defend, the wall breakers will splash onto the golem as well. Yeah, look at that. Golem taking a decent amount of damage there. Okay, why is he saying good luck? Bro went for golem first play. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go kite that like with my with my Valk. Look. And then I can just start sniping the golem again with my dart goblin. I'm gonna take a decent amount of damage from the golem here. But at the same time, now we are in a like elixir lead. So, okay, he pumps at zero. I don't really know if that was the best pump. I feel like he's gonna lose his tower here. Because he's not back to bar barrel yet, so he can't really defend that. Okay, really bad knight also. I'm just gonna go for evil skelly's pocket here. Okay, good. He has to waste his barber. Maybe I should have just sniped the pump with my next dart goblin. Like this. But, yeah. So I would have the evil skellies on defense. But I feel like even with my evil skellies on defense, I would still lose the right side tower. So it was good to force out the barber there, I'd say. Because look at the amount of damage we just got. Because he had no barber in hand. I'm just gonna cheaply defend so I don't get 3 crowned. But I'm just gonna let my tower go because I already know I can't keep the tower anyway. So no point to overcommit onto the golem when his backup will just clean up everything I put right. So I'll just let the golem live and kind of do its thing on my king tower because I know it's not gonna make that much damage anyways. Okay, now it's gonna be kind of difficult for us to get that yeah final damage because he's just gonna be blocking one lane all the time. So okay. I feel like that was not the best golem. Okay, I'm gonna try to go for Tricky Bell here. Maybe he doesn't see it. And also, if he puts it like... Okay, we <laughs> he actually missed it. Also, I wanted to put it there because that way, even if he doesn't miss the bar barrel, he can't hit the barrel and the wall breakers at the same time at that placement. So, yeah. Okay, <laughs> 25 for seconds, man. I don't really know if we can defend here, to be honest. I don't think so. I'm gonna try my best, but... Okay, I can bulk like this to distract. Okay, that was not the best E-Dragon. That's not gonna do anything. My my Dark Goblin should put in work here. Okay, maybe we can distract. Yeah, I feel like we won. Yes, we won. <laughs> GG's. Man, that's really like a horrible matchup because we don't have a rocket for pump, right? But yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> GG's. We're in the next game here against Mad. Or... As I would like to call him, Akaza student, because <laughs> they're always running the same deck. But yeah, Akaza's just always higher than them, than him. But I guess that's just because Akaza spends more time on the game and snipes more people than Matt does. But <laughs> yeah, so let's see. I really hope he's running the version with delivery, because the barbell version is a lot better for him than the, the delivery one. 
because Bar Barrel just puts in a lot of more work than the delivery does and also he has a quicker cycle with the Bar Barrel so he can afford to defend the barrel more cheaply and stuff. Okay. I don't really know why he wouldn't go for the ability. Maybe he didn't have enough elixir. Even though I think he does, he did have enough elixir. Maybe he didn't. Okay, let's see what he does against the start goblin. I don't really want to protect it because then he's just gonna go knight on it. Okay, yeah, he goes for knight in the back. Now I'm just gonna go fire spirit warbreakers. He's gonna have to nido, nado that. Yeah, he goes for nado. I knew he would go for nado because he had no cannon and no delivery in cycle. So... Pretty obvious NATO there. Okay. He bowlers in the back. <laughs> Man. I swear they just randomly bowler in the back. Okay. Just going opposite lane here. Because I want to force out Elixir. And that way they can't really make a great E-Giant push. I mean he could put the E-Giant in front of the bowler right now, right? But then he wouldn't be really able to afford the... Um, to afford NATO instantly. Okay, I'm gonna distract with Warbreakers here. Really nice. We distract two bowler shots. Also, we get one Warbreaker connection and we protect the Dark uh, the dark Prince. <laughs> the Dark Goblin. So... Um, okay, he goes for delivery. Maybe we can outcycle the next delivery. Let's see. I'm gonna predict his NATO here because, yeah, he's gonna try to... Exactly, he's gonna try to NATO that in. That's pretty obvious. Always when you put your Dark Goblin against their Knight or something. They always want to nado that dart goblin in. So when you put your goblins like that, the goblins will tank for the night shots. So really nice prediction on my end there. Okay, unfortunately that little prince, yeah, that little prince killed my dart goblin. But it's fine. Okay, what was that e-giant? Hello? What was that delivery? Hello? Bro, <laughs> you can't play a delivery like that. <laughs> what are you doing? Man, <laughs> GG's. Bro, this guy always manages to choke some, like, easy play. I don't know how you can miss a delivery on Evo Skellies, right? Like, it wasn't even close. It wasn't, like, one survived. He literally missed three of the Evo Skellies, man. <laughs> okay, GG's. In the next game here against our favorite recruit spammer, Votop. <laughs> man, this guy always runs recruits. And whenever he has recruits in cycle, he goes for first play recruits all the time. He probably didn't have recruits in cycle here, so he didn't go for them first play. Let's see whenever he goes for re Okay, there's, there's his recruits. Man. <laughs> I just can't believe it, man. Every time I play against this guy, he just spams his recruits like a no-brain. No matter what cycle I have, no matter what cycle he has, he just goes for recruits all the time. So... And they don't even do that much against me. He should be playing other cards, but... I guess just play your recruits in the back like you always do, right? <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, okay, re <laughs> really nice goblin cage. Look at that. <laughs> Man, this guy, he keeps amazing me with his 100 IQ plays. <laughs> I mean, 100 IQ is not really that much, right? <laughs> so maybe 1000 IQ. So, okay, just gonna set up my Valk in the back so he can't make it like good recruits push or something. Also, I'm not worried about him going picks opposite lane because I have my Evo Skellies, so it wouldn't really be a good play from him to go picks opposite lane, even though I don't have Vulcan Cycle. So, okay, I'm just gonna Warbreak us here. He doesn't have Cage back. Yeah, he has to waste his arrows. Really nice. Okay, okay. Did you see that? I pushed my Dart Goblin with my Goblins, so the Dart Goblin killed the Flying Machine. I don't know if you guys ever saw that play. Only works when the like dart goblin is at that um, placement, and also the flying machine has to be on the inside. Otherwise, the dart goblin will just ignore it. So, okay, man, both of his towers are already so low. I don't really know how he's taking so much damage in single elixir. Really shouldn't be happening, but I'll take it. <laughs> okay, just goes for evil recruits in the back. Just gotta make sure we don't get like a flying machine lock onto tower or something. I'm not really worried about any chip damage. I can take a little bit of damage, no problem. Okay, just gonna go Ice Spirit and Evo Skellies here. That's taking good care of the flying machine and the Evo recruits on the left. I don't really care about the recruits dashing to my tower here. 
Just want to keep up the pressure and keep the control of the game, basically. Okay, just gonna go for Ice Spirit and um, Warbreakers here to pressure him. Okay, nice. He lets that go, so really nice damage here. Okay, now we have to be a little bit careful because... Okay. Hmm. Gotta focus up a bit here. Okay, just gonna go for Valk low. Not the best piggies here. He should have split them in my opinion. I can just go for Valk Ice Spirit here. And that does a pretty good job at countering that. Look at the left side. I feel like if he would have went for split piggies, it would have been a lot more trouble for me to defend that. Okay, not the best wall breaker. Pretty unfortunate timing with the Mother Witch there, to be honest. Okay, Dark Goblin putting in work against those piggies. Really nice. Also gonna clean up the Mother Witch, and he still has to respawn. Okay, he doesn't anymore because he has the evil recruits in that lane. But I'm just gonna go offensive here, so he still has to, like, waste his spells. Okay, left side recruits are already dead. I'm just gonna go for Fire Spirit, Evil Skellies to clean up the right. Look at that, man. Fire Spirit and Evil Skellies completely cleaning up the right side here. Okay, he has to waste his arrows, which is really good. Okay. Right now we just have to make sure he doesn't get like a good Royal Hawks and Arrow push or something onto my tower. And we should be good here. Just gonna keep up the pressure. Because, yeah, he's, he always has to commit to that. Oh, nice. Good connection. Okay, he, I fought for one second. He can't afford. Okay, just go evil skellies and goblins on the left here. Okay, really bad flying machine. I think he has no arrows in barbarian and cycle now. Okay, he has barbarian and cycle, but he misses. <laughs> so, <laughs> GG's, man. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.